Do you want to get your finances under control? Well, in today's video, we're going to learn how to create our personal project tracker directly in Excel. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you will learn how to track your income, your expenses, as well as look at those all important savings. Now we're going to set some targets and some goals where we are going to add 50% for our needs, 30% for our wants, and 20% for the all important savings and investments. Now grab that laptop, let's jump in and construct this tracker before we get to 2025. Once you open up your Excel sheet, the first thing to do is just type in January here so we can have our January tab right here. Now let's take a few cells here and let's go across to this where we're going to merge and center and we are going to type in personal finance tracker right here. Now this is something that you can type in however you want. We can set everything up. Now let's just get a border around here and let's get this up slightly bigger slightly bold and let's just make it a little bit wider here now once we've done that we're going to create our next tabs now let's go across here and type in month and here we are going to type in January 25 or you can type in this is a field that you can change however you want Let's close that up. Let's get a border around there. And that's fine. We can create a little bit of a color if we want as well. Now let's set off our tables. So we have income, we have budget, and we have the actual right here. Now, once we have that, we can create a little box here. So let's type in six, five or six. Let's close that up. And let's make a little border here. Let's close this up too, make a little border. And for the income, we are simply going to go and type total here, income total. Okay, and what we're going to do, let's just make this a little bit wider. We can start typing in our income levels here. Now here, we can just copy and paste anything that we've put here before. Or we can just have a salary, bonuses, commissions, rental income, and gifts and inheritance. You can add whatever you want to this field. This is up to you and depending on where you get your income. Now, let's give this a little bit of a style down here. So we go across to sell styles and income is good. So let's just click on good over here. Now we start to add budgets. So say that we have a 3000 dollars or whatever currency you want to use as your budget you can add that here and you can type in an actual as well so as the month goes along you'll be able to see that now let's just change the format control one when we have control one we just go to number you can have a decimal place but to make it neater we can just use a round up and add that let's center it up using there now we have the totals here now let's just make these the same size and we can simply do the auto sum here so it sums up everything right here and we can just drag that along and we have both there now of course if you want to change any of your formatting you can easily do that as well now we can continue and add the next thing so we just control c here copy this let's paste it here right here and this can be our savings gold right here okay now savings we can just delete all of these here and we can start to write in things like emergency fund one for example and you can have emergency fund go to the end and let's change this to two and we can have pension for example or you can have any other saving goals or investment that you're saving up for over here as well. Now, let's go on to the expenses. So once again, we can simply just take this, Control C and Control V right here. Now we can just change these. Let's remove these here. Okay, delete those. And we can just make this a little bit wider as we add in our expenses. So expenses will come right here. And now we have the budget in an actual as well. So we can start typing in things like electric bill, etc. Now I'm going to add a few more categories here from a sheet that I have created before. But before we do that, we're going to just take this and begin to drag it all the way down. 
because we are going to have a lot more expenses, more than likely than our income as well as our savings. So there we go. Now let's change the colors before we forget. So right here at the bottom, we're going to type in expenses total, expenses total. And here we're going to have a savings total, a savings total and let's go and change the color so we know what's what so let's go to the savings savings can be neutral expenses can be bad so let's go here and let's just click the bad right here okay great now we have our sheet and it's building up nicely now let me just be back in a second i'm going to copy over the expenses sheet that i have Okay, let's just paste what we have over here and we have a full list here. Now let's just make sure that our totals are adding up from the top. So auto sum, right, there we go. We need to do that. So auto sum once again and we get the full auto sum here. So we have everything calculating up all in one go. Now you can change this to the same colors as the totals if you want, up to you, whatever style you choose to have. Okay, now let's create another box over here where we're going to use this just particularly for our chart. Now let's start, let's add a summary here. Let's add our income. Let's add our expenses and let's add our savings. Okay. Now, what are we going to measure here? So we're just going to link everything. We don't have to do this again and again. This is just something that we do once and we are simply just going to copy and paste it. Once we've set up the sheet, you can just replicate this to other months. You can even have a total at the end if you want. Now, here we have the budget. Okay. We have the actual. And now the, while these are going to be values, we'll put a total here as well. While these are going to be values, we are going to have a goal percentage. Okay, and we are going to have a goal budget. Okay, so now whatever we want as a budget, we're going to add that here. Now let's just go ahead and link these. So we're going to have the income budget, so equals income budget. Just link it right there and we'll do the same for the actual link it here okay and we're going to go and link the expenses as well expenses budget and we are going to link the expenses actual okay and now for savings we are going to do exactly the same equals and we are going to do that now obviously the numbers look exactly the same right now we haven't really finished that so let's go add the totals up here Right, there we go. We're going to add the totals all the way down here. Now, in this range, we are going to have a percentage. So here, our goal budget. What's our goal percentage? Our goal percentage is equals the actual divided by the percentage. Okay, that's 33 right there. We're going to lock up the cell so that it doesn't move anymore. And now we can simply just drag that along. And now we can set our goals here as 50% as 30% and 20% and this is really interchangeable to what you need. Let's center up everything here and let's just grab this, center it up. Let's create a little chart here, control B to bold. Now let's make a little bit of a table and a border around here. Now what do we need to do is we need to just color these the same way. So we can just go up here, cell styles, good. Next, we can go and expenses, red, and savings can be neutral. So there you go, just a nice way to visualize it. Now let's crack on and have a look at how we can create the charts. Okay, the first chart we're gonna create is the budget versus actual. So let's close this up a little bit, double click on the tab. Once you've clicked on that, you can just go and take, grab this, we'll go across, insert, and we are going to create a, let's go to the recommended charts. We want a bar chart. Okay, now we can do this. You can press okay. And we have our chart right here. Now let's go over to the chart design, change the color up and let's change and see what we like. Okay, we have a nice blue and green color, a green color right here. Okay, that's great. So now we can just change the title here 
and call it logic versus actual. Oh, control Z, control Z. It disappeared for no reason. Let's delete that. Budget versus actuals. Okay. Now this has been done. Now the next thing we need to do is populate the right numbers so that we have everything coming up. So let's just grab our numbers and add them right here. Okay, place those across there. Now you can see that your income has definitely changed. Now here we can add some more. We can add a thousand here and we can just add 500 here and see where we are. And the second thing here, we can put 500 here add the actual as 400 and maybe we just add 200 here and 200 received as well okay let's just add some more numbers here to get something more decent here now let's change this to 1500 1500 so that we have a little bit more here so now you can see your income here with your budget and your actual and your expenses as well as your savings okay now and now you can see your income your actuals and your budget clear right here okay now let's just move this make it a little bit smaller if you want and the next thing is we are going to add another tracker right here another chart where we're going to add just the totals in a pie chart so we collect that and we go to the actual and let's go to insert now once we go to insert let's go to pie chart now we have various different ways of having it. You can have it as a donut chart, you can have it as a pie chart, you can add it right here. And once again, we can simply just make it a little bit smaller so that it looks very nice. Now we can just remove this if we want. We can add a title. We can also change the chart design so that it looks a little bit better. There we go. Let's go and add it. Let's change a little bit there. There you go, income, expenses, and savings. So you have a little bit more on your charts right there. Now, let's go across. Now, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so that we can have some nicer charts on the other side. However, we need to make the charts a little bit smaller. So we'll just grab those here, make a little bit smaller here, and make sure that we bring them in a line to what we want. Let's bring them sort of halfway, looks much better. And we have our little charts over here, make them a little bit smaller as well. No problem at all. Now, what do we want to do is we want to make some other charts on the other side. We don't need this as big. Let's move it a little bit smaller. Okay, and now we can just make our Excel sheet a little bit bigger. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to add just a budget versus actual. So all we need to do is a budget versus actual and highlight those two cells. And then we highlight those two. Uh, right, control, not shift. Highlight those. Insert. Once again, we can make a recommended chart right here. And we have budget versus actual. Okay, once we have a chart like that, we can simply make it smaller. We can remove the design, change the design right here. And then that way they can see what we have. So let's go. Okay, we have something slightly different. We can change the colors as well if you want. Okay, so now we have your budgets and actuals. Now, if you don't like the design or don't like the lines, you can simply click on it and just delete it. And you can just type in the title here. Oh, okay, don't press delete too many times. Otherwise, it makes everything disappear. You can change the title here as a budget and actual. So that also gets changed. Budget versus actual. And then you can make this a little bit smaller. Okay. Now I'm going to make this tiny bit smaller so that our charts fit nicely together and it doesn't look out of the way. Right. There we go. So our charts are right there next to our savings and our gold. Now we're going to add one more thing here which is pretty interesting. Now, this is going to be our goal tracker. We want to track if we have the correct split between the goal budgets that we have here. And so we're going to type in goal here. Okay, and we're just going to move this to the left. Let's click on that. Okay, and once we've done that, we just move it along, move it to the left. Now, we have our income, savings and expenses. So we can just control C. And you can just control V here. You can go to expenses. Let's leave a gap there. 
put savings here and we put that there. Now, what do we want to do? We want to make sure that our income savings and expenses are within our target, our goal budgets. If they're not, we want it to say clearly that we're not meeting it. So equals if, we're gonna use if formula here, this is greater than this, then basically we have met our goal. So we're just gonna type in goal met, okay? And if we didn't, then goal has not been met. Goal not met. Now we can close that and there you go. We just type that in. We can simply just center that up. Once we center that formula up, we can take that and we can take the formula from here. Control C, copy that there. Paste it here, just paste it right here. Once you've pasted it there, you'll see that the income numbers or the cells are still here. We need to move it to the expenses, so just drag that along very easily. You can see that your goal is not met. And once again, we are going to paste the formula here and we are going to move it from the income to the savings. Okay, and once that clicks into it, just drag it along and you have it. So now we have goal met in certain places and the goals are not met in other places. Control V, or H, A and C, or H, A and M to center and center, make it into the middle. So now here you can really see if you are really having your budgets and your actuals, if your budget's a lot less and your actuals a bit more, you can see that's something to worry about. And if your goals are not being met, then you can clearly see inside of your sheet. Okay, now just to make it a little bit more cleaner, you can move up the totals here, you can move up the savings, you can move up the expenses and you can move up the income and you can see that you can add, change a little bit here. Now you can see, let's close it up a bit, you can see that you have a personal tracker right here, which you can use and you can change. Now, what you can do is you just hold the control and shift button down. You have January here. You can just move it along and you can create another tab called February right here. And you can continue throughout the year and make sure that you have the total. At the end, you can total up all of them by summing up everything. That way you'll even have your totals. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope that you're going to get your finances under control in this year. And I hope that you enjoy this content. You can like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. See you there.